Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Casaculus, which is a horror game where for some reason you decide to go into a cave that's full of giant spiders. Huh. Two cars. Hmm. Where's the other people? I guess we're falling in after someone. Hopefully they're still alive. Is something's out there. There is like a rabbit, or it's a bird, and then there's like random wolves not attacking it. You almost got like a truce out here or something? Bun. And there was a there was like a cougar right there, right? Where are the animals here? They're just chilling. Ben. Oh, woo. Very curious. Really feels like an animal crossing. That trademark. The power seems to be out. The key for the generator must be around here somewhere. Huh. Nails, tools, matches. Well, let's get the lights on first before I read anything. Random knife, just right, right there. Let's get the generator turned on and we'll come back in. Should be out to sign. Unless it's inside for some weird reason. Alright, we got power. This is better. Oh god, it's pray. Hey bro, I've tried calling and texting, but I've heard nothing back. We don't want to be behind schedule, so we are going to set off at 2pm as planned. When you read this letter, call me and we can range me up in the cave, Ollie. Alright. Ollie, are you in a cave? By the way, Ollie, there's rabbits and wolves outside. They're like at peace for some reason. Huh. Damn it, answer your phone, Ollie. It's like random knives and. Things all on them about.
I mean, there's nothing of a note. I mean, well, there is a note, but... Since there's some, could be some useful things to take from here. I don't see, like, a thing popping up to, like, grab stuff. So, well, I mean, this... Two out of three. What is the last thing you want me to grab? I did see that being highlightable before. Maybe it was, I didn't know, like, just, like, was not seeing it. Or it could be like, yeah, grab an order. What is that noise? These are big trees. Big trees. Damn redwoods up in here. I should open the cabin until morning. Oh, no, wait, losers do that. Going now. There ain't no holding up. Alright, let's hold up till morning. I clearly did not just walk out earlier. That was like other animals around. It's just like, like man, they just they're all coming here specifically. That's like deer are watching me. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Did you get the pun yet? I sure hope you did. are fine. Pretty rugged cave. Very uneven formations. Water carved, most likely. But consider those torches in the air, I guess people have been coming in here. Oh, spider web. Well, something has to look down here, right? Maybe we'll find some of those, like, blind little fish. They're always fun. My sledgehammer could break through this. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely gonna break through this giant mass with this sledgehammer. Wow. Ooh, bats. Man. You are strong. Was here, I took a Polaroid. All right, let's go. Yep. Yeah. I feel like there's some kind of like panther or something in here. <laughs> it's a still, still a step motion. And step sound. This one's like rappling down like a rope or something. Keep this out for any surprises.
Really like a little ding. Polaroid. Hmm. Yeah. Folks came in here. Gotta break open this rock. God, we are so, like, badass. What is that, coyote? It's not deep in the cave. Oh, man. Where'd you go, buddy? Dead end. Our breakable rock. No, it's a dead end. Oh boy. A Polaroid over here. Huh. And they went down. Fervor. Oh man, that's a big place. Amazing. We're not going back. Amazing tree root formation. Hello? Guy. Their voices could have been only. We can light up uh, torches, looks like. Is will burn vegetation allow me to continue on? Right up there, buddy. That's not just like a casually loose rock, that's like a boulder. I just died. Well, even the torch is like dead. We're moving, we're moving, we're moving. There we go, finally. Spin off, switch off again. Stephen's diary. We had finally arrived at the cabin after a long and tiresome drive. Stephen only had a few beers, listened to some music as we sat around the fireplace. I didn't want to drink as much as the thought of being hungover during a caving expedition was the last thing I would have wanted. The journey to Alboron Caves had begun. We found it a lot more difficult than first fought. All he had lost his footing multiple times and Stephen was getting tired. We stopped momentarily to catch our breath. 
It felt as though we were not alone. As we traveled through the cave system, I heard some very strange noises. I was even sure I'd seen something in the distance, shifting between the rocks. The others thought I was imagining things that weren't there. I hope they're right. Well, you can do it that way. But I, I could read the text just fine. Whoa, bro, cave. In this sense, the Polaroids. Flashlight, too. Why don't they just leave this stuff? Doesn't make sense. Oh, great, it's a cutscene. There's a giant spider, isn't there? God, looks like a giant, like, huntsman. That is a very realistic looking spider. Oh god, it moves like a huntsman too. I have to find all in front to get out of this cave. Don't worry. There must be not dead. In a cave full of spiders. They move like 50 miles per hour. Predator here. I mean, we smashed a boulder in like three hits. I mean, a spider ain't gonna do anything. Oh, you're alive. Hey, hey! Over here! Oh my god, Patrick! Is that you? Leighton! Where's Ollie and Steve? We need to get out of this cave! Right now! I don't know! I can't find them! Spider! I lost them! Hours ago! Leighton! Behind you! Move it! Run! Oh my god! We just like gave up on him. I'm um, well, there's spiders coming after us. I don't blame us. I'm pretty sure that spider could fit through that if it wanted to. Spiders in real life fit through smaller gaps. It's not a nice way to go. Damn thing's gonna melt in your insides. Spider anime girl. I don't know talk. Watch these uh, formations up above. Couldn't come crashing down. Oh! I'm not sure if I want to like, poke these webs. They look pretty bad. Oh! Oh! 
What the hell? Snakes? That oh, was just a normal snake. We're alive. Spider. Man. I mean, this is a man-made structure. There was a mine down there. Let's check that camcorder. It could be important. I walked over something completely, didn't I? Ah. You gave me my spires? Not seeing anything. Did anyone know about the giant spiders in this cave? I mean, there was a cabin here. Like, someone would have been like, hey, don't go in that cave, it's giant spiders. Who's the third guy? Oh, actually, no, I remember the third guy is now. I remember him too. Spider? No. So no confirmation that they died. Goodness for them. Crawl space. Oh! Out! Bad spider. Thank God spiders can't go for crawl spaces. Oh boy. I hear him. I don't see him. I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna keep moving. Look, egg sacks. Pray. That's Stevie's hat. Oh god, no. Pretty sure that's Stevie in general. Yep, melted by spiders. Oh Stevie, you poor soul. I'm sorry, I couldn't save you. Oh, 
moment. Also, I put a flare recently. Okay, there's secret dark ruins. Okay. Again. Put it in the right order. I mean, one is. Oh, well, you mean you want to put it over here? There we go. That was, uh. Agent lock systems aren't too advanced. I figured like, it would go under and then come on to the next one. Oh, it is. Spider. Yep. Some common spiders out there. I mean, even when we get to them, how do we get out? Ollie? Ollie? We're dead. There's no way out. We don't have to give only. I mean, the way we came in is sealed in multiple ways. Ollie, it's me, Patrick. Can you Infected hear me? with spiders. Come on, we're leaving now. Let's get out of this fucking cave. It's affected with spiders, I'm telling you. Oh, there is an exit. Through a spider web and a giant spider. We 
you're not you're not getting out of this. Yeah, I did, I did not see a good ending for our characters. It was just like such a one-way route, and like the spiders were super fast. And they're everywhere. It's a bit spider on the spot. Watch the spider out, yeah. Oh. Came the sun and washed away the rain And the itsy bitsy spider What a, a water spout again So that's it for Casacolas. Uh, actually, pretty decent horror game. I, I did think it was uh, well scripted and fairly scary in parts. And I think the premise was fine. Like, it's giant spiders, you're going in looking for some friends and family, and then, you know, everyone dies or whatever. That's, it's good. Like, that, that's perfectly fine. Like, you don't really need too much of a presence or premise, rather. It's, uh, it speaks for itself with just the giant spiders part and the, uh, the cave design and everything. The only thing I did like is that the game is cutscene based. And by that I mean every spider encounter is either far in the distance, which is good, or it's a cutscene. So once you kind of figure that out, then you kind of like, oh, you'll never, you can't die. Like it's always going to be a scripted cutscene, the spider encounters. It's always going to pull you out. It's kind of like letterbox things. It's going to be a set piece. There should have been some ways, maybe there is, I didn't notice it, maybe I just played too good. I don't think so. Um, to alert the spiders, or maybe like have them actually attack you outside of the cutscenes. You know, like the scene where the spiders are sneaking up on the one friend or whatever, that doesn't necessarily have to be a cutscene, at least initially anyway, um, or laterally. You could just make that a thing where like, oh, your attention's obviously drawn to that area because he's being killed by spiders, and you hear like a little drop behind you and a little skitter, you turn around like, oh my god, there's spiders right behind me. Then you run on your own accord. So that, that'd be a good example. But aside from that, it is a good horror game. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play Casacolas. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.